again, Vanessa from BSN 201. And today I'm going to show you the fourth uh, learning outcomes in the subject Nursing Informatics, which is how to apply legal and ethical privacy requirements in protecting of healthcare data privacy. So as we all know, the goal of every healthcare services is to provide outstanding and quality health care to all patients regardless of their state. So in order to accomplish this goal, we have set standards, laws, and rights for the patients. But today on this video, we're going to focus on Health Data Privacy and Patient's Bill of Rights. So what is Patient's Bill of Rights? According to Fremgen, the function of patient's right is to help improve patient outcomes by respecting each patient's right and conducting clinical and health organization relationships in an ethical manner. The Patient's Bill of Rights was created in 1973 by the American Hospital Association. It protects the privacy and integrity of patients, doctors, and other health care providers. Here in the Philippines, we have 13 patient's rights. Right to appropriate medical care and humane treatment, right to informed consent, right to privacy and confidentiality, right to information, right to choose health care provider and facility, right to self-determination, right to religious beliefs, right to medical records, right to leave the hospital, right to refuse participation in medical researches, right to correspondence and receive visitors, right to express grievances, Right to be informed of his rights and obligation as a patient. Next is the health data privacy. So what is health data privacy? Data Privacy Act of 2012 or RA 10173 is a comprehensive and strict privacy legislation to protect the fundamental human rights of privacy, of communication while ensuring the free flow of information to promote innovation and growth. So basically, it establishes a legal framework for businesses to follow in order to protect and uphold customers' right to privacy by establishing a set of guidelines for the collection, storage, and disposal of all personal information. Data Privacy Act of 2012 or RA 10173 has three scopes and these are personal information, privileged information, and sensitive personal information. Personal information refers to any information whether recorded in a material form or not, from which the identity of an individual is apparent or can be reasonably and directly ascertained by the entity holding the information, or when put together with other information will directly and certainly identify an individual. While privileged information refers to any and all forms of data which under the rules of court and other pertinent laws constitute privileged communication. Lastly is the sensitive personal information. It refers to an individual race, ethnic origin, marital status, age, color, and religious, uh, philosophical or political affiliation, as well as individual health, education, genetic, or sexual life as a person, and also any proceeding for any offense committed or alleged to have been committed by such a person. So how does this thing connect to nursing informatics? As the healthcare professionals, we are under the jurisdiction of integrating the rules that we took an oath for. And by that, we have to abide by the rules that protects our clients. As I've said earlier, our patients has rights. And one of that is right to data privacy and confidentiality. And that is supported by RA 10173 or better known as Data Privacy Act of 2012. Because of continuous advancement of technology, health information technology has to step up your game, especially the nursing informatics, um, by developing electronic medical record and electronic health record. These two, the EHR and the EMR, contains all the necessary and private information of a patient. And now as a nursing informaticist, we have a role of maintaining and developing medical data and system to support practice of nursing, improve patient care outcomes, and protect patients' information. There are many things that can hinder the implementation of Data Privacy ACA, such as being poorly managed that causes data leakage. To manage this kind of problem, we have to focus on the root cause of this, which is the lack of security protocol between the healthcare professional and the healthcare informaticist. 
thus working on tightening the security of accessing the set technologies as a solution. That will be all. Thank you for watching.